That's even worse. You shouldn't be eating things you found. James, mask up. So you know today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, I know. I'm living. I found water in my And I hope you didn't need it. What? Boys, I think we need to teach you. If you find things, you shouldn't just eat them. So you can't. It's empty now. Why not? Because you don't know where they've been. So you have to manage them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
boys. Good morning, sir. Good morning to our visitors. Good morning to all our parents who have joined us. Please keep standing, boys. I won't be too long just in the welcome. Very warm welcome to everyone. It's a little bit um, of a change to see a, an assembly with our parents here and celebrating this assembly with us. It's uh, wonderful to be back in this kind of way of doing things. And um, so I hope that you enjoy this time here with us. A very warm welcome to the parents. And um, I hope that you enjoy uh, seeing our boys being awarded different uh, awards this morning. We're going to start off today's assembly with our school song. So let's stand up nice and neat and tidy. It's a little bit like our national anthem. We need to stand for attention and be proud of our school song. It's been a very frustrating to boys please be seated, parents please be seated. It's been a very frustrating term in, in the sense of not being able to do choir and so we just thank Miss Mintour for coming forward and singing that for us this morning. I hope that by next term our choir will be in full swing and we'll be able to do things um, as we normally did in the past. I'd now like to ask our youth pastor, Carl Obermeyer, to come forward, and we're going to be doing a reading. I think uh, Matthew Orrance is going to be doing the reading, and Josh Floyd is going to be doing the prayer. Good day, Mr. Weaver, parents, staff, and boys. Dara will be reading out of Philippians chapter 3, verse 12 to 16. I do not claim that I have already succeeded, I have already become perfect. I keep striving to win the prize, which Christ Jesus has already won me to himself. Of course, my brothers and sisters, I really do not think that I have already won. The one thing I do, however, is to get what is behind me and do my best to reach what's ahead. So I run straight towards the goal in order to win the prize, which is God's call to Christ Jesus to the life of God. All of us who are spiritually mature 
to have the same attitude. But if some of us have a different attitude, the model make us clear to you. However that may be, let us go forward according to the same rules we are following on tomorrow. Let us pray. Accept and bless, O Lord, the school and use it in all things according to your will. May your presence be ever within its walls. May it stand always for all that is true, just pure, noble, and of good report. May we learn here to hold fast, fast to what we know to be right. Grant that we and others may so gain from its life. That many may bless you for the day when, we, when it was founded, that its work may be extended and continued for the generations yet to come. Through Jesus, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A big thank you to Josh and to Matthew for reading those two readings and the prayer. Just before we start with our um, awards, I'd like to just say a few words. First of all, in terms of a summary of the term, it's been quite a roller coaster ride, hasn't it? We started the term, if you remember, on the 19th of July, when we all had to come back to school online. So no one actually came back to school in person. And we had to get all the devices out and go back online for the first couple of days because no schools were allowed to be open until the 26th of July. And we started our term properly on the 26th of July. And even then, we were really going into the middle of the third wave of the pandemic. So it was quite difficult, and it was difficult for all of us. What has been amazing is that we have... In the first two waves, there were only three boys that actually tested positive for COVID-19. But in this third wave, we've had about 24 boys who have tested positive. And that created quite a thing because we didn't want to close the school. And we had to then look at how we're going to do things and how we're going to make sure that we're going to keep our community um, safe, but at the same time, continue with school in the best possible way. And so that is what we've, what we've tried to do, and I think we did it quite successfully. And a lot of boys had to go into quarantining because other boys in classes tested positive. So it's been quite a trying turn. But at the same time, we also had four rugby matches, which was absolutely amazing. It was great. We were able to play matches against Rondebosch, against Bishops, against Weinberg, and against Sachs. And I just want to say, as far as the rugby was concerned, there were two games that stood out for me as I watched the rugby. The two games that really stood out for me were the under-13A game against Rondebosch. Rondebosch have a big side. And at the end of the first half, we were leading 10-5. And I have, I've yet to see a Wet Pups team play with such heart, with such bravery, and with such courage. Yes, we lost the match in the end, but I was very, very proud of the boys in the under 13A. The other match that I was delighted with was the other 10A match against um, Rondebosch, which they lost 10-7. And it was very close towards the end where our under 10 A's were pushing Rhonda Bosch all the time and I thought, sure, but maybe we could just squeak a win here. But you guys in the under 10 A's played with great courage and great determination. And I have spoken about this in uh, assemblies during the term. Yes, we're a small school, but we must be a little bit like that little dog, Jock, Jock of the Bushveld, and we must hold tenaciously and strive bravely and make sure that we never give up and that's the heart of what wet pups is all about it's making sure we never give up we give of our best and
and we do the, as, as best as we can. And I think that that was really shown in some of the matches during the course of this term. Um, we also ended the term with our inter-house inter -house sports, inter-house inter competitions. And what I saw on the field was brilliant. There was lots of competitive stuff going on, and it was well run, and I think you guys had a wonderful time. So that was in the last week. During chapel this term, we've looked at faith, and that has been done uh, by our youth pastor, Mr. Overmeyer, and we've looked a lot at what faith is all about and how we should be taking that forward. And having faith is really important to us, especially at this time in the pandemic. Tomorrow is Heritage Day. And Heritage Day is an important day for South Africa. What is heritage? Heritage is a person's unique, inherited sense of family identity. It means the values and the traditions and the culture and the artifacts that are handed down by previous generations to us. And every single one of us sitting here has maybe a different heritage. We all come from different places. We all come from diverse backgrounds. The thing about Heritage Day is that even though we come from diverse backgrounds, and even though we need to be able to tell each other what our stories are, this morning, in a fairly uh, informal meeting that I had with the pre-primary teachers this morning, we told each other our stories. And it was so interesting where people were born and where they grew up and the type of families they came from and the cultures that they had. Those are our stories and those are our heritage. And those are important. But when we celebrate Heritage Day tomorrow, what is even more important is what we as a country are trying to do. We as a country are trying to make sure that we take all these different people and we unite them together in something which is strong. Something that is going to take on the world. And that's what Heritage Day is really all about. Yes, we celebrate our heritage, my uniqueness, my identity, where I come from. But at the same time, I understand that I'm part of a whole South Africa, a South Africa that is united. And our motto in South Africa, our motto in South Africa, just as we've got a motto as a school, our motto as a school is, Eusta Tenete, hold fast to justice. The South African motto is diverse people unite. Unity in diversity. And what that means is that we've got to take all this, all this diversity. Diversity is brilliant because if we all come from different places, we've all got, and we all have voices, we've all got something to say. We can create something really great. And that's what we should be doing going forward. We really need to respect and understand our individual heritages so that we can unite as a strong and diverse country. That's basically what we're trying to do. I'd like to end off with a quote um, that comes from Mother Teresa. And when we're dealing with diversity and when we're dealing with understanding different people, sometimes we can be a little bit intolerant. Sometimes we can think our way is better than other people's way. And Mother Teresa said this. She said, People are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. And when people are like that to us, then we become the same back to them. But she says, forgive them anyway. Even though they might be like that, forgive them anyway. If you're kind and people, people may accuse you of having selfish motives, they might pull your kindness down. Mother Teresa says, be kind anyway. Don't worry, do what is right. Eusta tenete, do what is right. Stand up for what you believe to be right. If you are successful, you'll win some false friends and some true enemies. Because people get jealous. Mother Teresa says, succeed anyway. Do what is right. Eusta tenete. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. 
you might be the honest one and they might go behind the, the, the sides and, and undermine what you're trying to do. Mother Teresa says, be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. She says, build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, other people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give them your best anyway. Even though you might respect people, and they don't respect you back, Mother Teresa says, respect them anyway. In the final analysis, she goes on to say, it is between you and God. It never was between you and them anyway. So as we try to live our, our motto, which is Eusta Teneta, remember that we need to, ha to hold fast to what is just, to what is right. And doing all these things of respecting and being kind and being good and striving for excellence is all the things which are good and we must do it anyway, regardless of what others are trying to say to us, regardless of the destruction that they're trying to meet down on us. So let's just think about those things as we go on holiday. We're now going to come to the awards. And these awards, well done to those boys who have been awarded. I know that a lot of you have worked very hard towards these things. So very well done. And we're going to start off with um, academic awards. So Mr. Boardman Smith will come forward. The first academic awards are for academic excellence. Now in terms of academic excellence, those are averages. These awards are coming from the first semester. So what happened up until July, we haven't had an awards assembly. We haven't had been able to have assemblies at all. So these awards come up to the end of our second term. Academic excellence are those boys who get an average of over 85% or above. And in grade four, we're very pleased to announce that the following boys have got academic excellence. Right, um, grade four, academic excellence. Boys, if you can try and stick to the order in which we read your names, it just makes it much easier for Mr. Weaver to hand out just to you. to you. Right, starting with uh, grade fours, Yusuf Bray, Gabriel Cook, Callum Maiden, Leo Milne, Gordit Sase Morefu, Leo Murray, and Oliver Shaw. Second set of awards are for excellent effort. The following boys, please come up: Hamish Haythorn, Callum Maiden, Leo Milne, Oliver Muller, Leo Murray, Joshua Van Mill, Jack White, Gabriel Cook, Joshua Lewis, Luke Muellman, and Levi Taylor. Thank you. 
Right, uh, academic excellence in grade five, Andrew Barnes, Hugh and Cadies, Yuvraj Gliwala, Ross Mukaiba, Samuel Nicholson, Rayon Osman, Jamie Thomason, and Ethan Totterham Jacobs. boys who've achieved an increase of 4% or more in their average since the last academic uh, report at the end of last year. So those are marks are looking at grade 4 through to mid-year grade 5. The following boys, if they could come up please for their certificates, Andrew Barnes, Robert Kirsten, Jose Lowe, Finn Polly, Thomas Spangenberg, James Thornton, and Matthew Wilson. Excellent effort awards in grade five, Q and Cadies, Nicholas Dyke, Yuvraj Giwala, Seth Hamilton, Robert Kirsten, Connor Malun, Samuel Nicholson, Yokani Sawundla, Jamie Thompson, James Thornton, Andrew Barnes, Luke Chamberlain, Ross McIver, Rayon Osman, and Ethan Totterham Jacobs. Grade 6, Academic Excellence, Certificates Awarded to Oliver Bardenhorst, Harrison Ford, James Hugo, Yazid Lonkin, and Dante Moore. Improvement in Grade 6, Alistair Hughes.
Right, moving on to excellent effort. James Hugo, Yazid Lalkin, Michael Merriweather, Oliver Bardenhorst, Ethan Bunkel, Murray Fisher, Kian Govender, Ryan Dales, Olo Tundal Purvis, Harrison Ford, John Dingley, Benjamin Honingbachs, and Dante Moore. Lastly, our senior class, the Grade Seven Academic Excellence Awards, go to Matthew De Yaga, Jeremy Little, Little, sorry, uh, Maximilian Marshall Smith, Maximus Sandry, and Alexander Tadros. Academic Improvement Awards in Grade 7, Nicholas Axton, Maximus Sandry, Alexander Tadros, and Noah Taylor. Last Excellent Effort Awards, Jeremy Little, Julian Buddinghouse, Maximilian Marshall-Smith, Noah Taylor, Nicholas Axton, Alexander Tadros, Matthew Diaga, Maximus Sandry, Zahir Sircott, and Luca Williams. We have won a drama award, okay. Um, Ethan Totter and Jacobs in grade five. He recently participated in the Lambda, that's the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Uh, he entered for the grade two speech and drama section and had to perform a poem, prose, and engage with the examiner on different pieces. He received a distinction of 91%. Pringle, if you could come down to do the music awards.
We award music ties to the grade seven boys who have done music and ensembles and given up many hours of their time in early mornings and lunch breaks. So these boys have given at least two years of, of work to music ensembles. If they could please come forward. Alexander Gordon, Nicholas Ax sorry, Gordon Alexander, Nicholas Axton, Julian Boat Goldenhouse, Angus Bromley, Connor Clark, Samuel Clark, Matthew Bjarker, Matthew Fenn, Joshua Gillette, Stuart Hudson. Benjamin Croc. Can congratulate those boys so far. Okay, in the second round of boys, if they could please come forward. James Kuhn, Jeremy Little, Christopher McLagan, Marshall Oysthuizen, Rohan Patel, Christian Fando, Rupert Robertson, Nicholas Sedgwick, Sergei Sirkot, Noah Taylor, Vincent Wood Williams. Well done to all those boys for the years of service to the music department. Right, good morning everybody. Uh, firstly, from my side, just a thank you to all the key role players who played a part in our adjusted week the sports season. That's the boys sitting in front of us, the coaching staff, and then the parents as well. So a big thank you to you guys. Our awards as follows. Firstly for rugby, most improved. Under nine, Connor, Connor Howdy. Uh, under 10, Tatung Tumalo. Under 11, Samuel Graham. Under 12, Lukola Dwili. Under 13, Angus Bromley, and he also receives the John Solomon football. Right, then our under two, um, rugby player of the year, first three under nine, Alexander Baines, under 10, Ross Thompson, under 11, Andrew Barnes, under 12, John Dingley, under 13, James Milan, and he also receives the uh, Warren Cup. <laughs> the under 11, Andrew Barnes also receives the McDonald Cup, and under 12, John Dingley also receives the Burns Cup. Oh. 
And then our inter house winners for rugby this year. Can I represent us of, of De Villiers, please come up. Right, our hockey awards are as follows. Firstly, our most improved boys. Under 9, Lou Geddes. Under 10, Yusuf Bray. Under 11, Dylan Davies. Under 12, Fawaz Davids. Under 13, Jeremy Little. Then our player of the year for hockey as follows from under 9, Murray Abedidon, under 10, Joshua Van Mill, under 11, Dylan Davies, under 12, John Dingley, under 13, Gordon Alexander, and he also receives the Verdal Austin Cup. That's Ryan Davies. Under 11 is Ryan Davies, sorry. Then our inter house we Hold on to them. Our inter house winner for hockey for twenty twenty one. Lasbury. Can I hear you? Right, then a sport that has grown close to my heart this year. Squash. Uh, firstly, our most improved squash player for a junior, Levi Taylor. Our most improved squash player for senior, Joshua Gillette. Then our junior player of the year, Zaim Omar. And senior player of the year, Farhan Patel. Then our squash interhouse winner for the year, well done to De Villiers. Right, then, well, uh, our cross country runners, our most improved runners for uh, junior, Lou Geddes, and senior, Yusuf Patel. We also have an award for fitness and perseverance, and for junior, that is Benjamin Bradshaw, and senior, Nicholas McLagan.
And then we have runner of the year for junior Jude Polly and for senior Christopher McLagan. Christopher also receives the honor trophy for best contribution to cross country. And we will have our cross country inter house next term on the uh, 29th of October. Lastly, our chess. Uh, we've got a few categories over here. So, chess most improved junior. That is Luke van Rensburg, Joshua van Mull, and Boyd Roberts. Most improved senior, Benjamin Durant, Saran Patel. Then our junior player of the year for chess, Finn Boys, Caleb Maiden, and Michael Logan. And then our senior player of the year, Finn Lacona, and he also receives the chess championship trophy. And then we haven't had a chess inter house before, I think, which is why there's no trophy. But the inter house winner for chess this year, the Villiers. So, can somebody come and just get a handshake? <laughs> Okay, just to end things off, I've asked uh, if we can celebrate a little bit with some marimbas. So we're going to have uh, Mr. Pringle and his marimba band just to do a bit of a celebration. Let's all stand just before they get ready. Stand. Please be seated.
you very much to the Marimba band. Thank you for that. We're now going to end off by singing our national anthem that will be sung by Mr. Mintua. If we can all stand, and let's all stand to attention as we sing. If you'd like to sing along, that's fine. Stop talking, please, boys. Put your blazers on. those blazers on, stand up straight, hands out of pockets, when, you, when we sing the national anthem, it's something that we do with pride, and it's something that we do properly every single time, let's make sure that we honor our country, and we do it properly, caps off please, okay, Just say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. The boys, please be seated. We are now going to go into our classes just to tidy up before being dismissed on our holiday. And we'll see you all back raring to go for the last term of 2021 and that we'll see you on the 5th of October okay I hope that you enjoy your holidays and I hope that you come back refreshed and ready to finish strong I hope you have a great time Thank you. trophy winners if you can please come forward straight afterwards boys if you can go back to your classroom